searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back, guys and gals. Critical here. Today I'm bringing an episode of Grim Dawn. If you like what you see, drop a like and consider subscribing. All right. I am back in the warden's cellar. I am ready to make the uh, boss run. We'll see how this goes. Now, I did come through here just a little bit just to clear out because there's some uh, nice mobs in this area too. But I didn't pick up very much. I don't, how far did I go through here? Yeah, just into these rooms right here. And then I said, okay, well, I'm going to stop and I'm going to record. Sometimes I, it's hard for me not to get ahead in this game because I do enjoy it. That was a weird sound. Rawr. Did you mean to make that sound? Quick, get out of my way. How are you not dead already? Sheesh. It's my frost burn damage should have killed you. Smack. Shadow Strike so powerful, it's awesome. Right. Sometimes, okay. If I can target, I can jump past that and not take damage going through it. I think I didn't take any damage going through it. Or minimal, because it was so, the passage was so quick. Keep my buff up. Ooh, buff and a ding. Shadow strike ding. That's the best kind of dings. Boss mob. Boss mob's already dead. Or hero enemy, as the game likes to put it. You want to get all these because good experience. Switch out to a new metal. I already had it on me, ready to go. Too bad that aura couldn't be switched so that all my frost burn damage would be poison damage. I don't know, maybe there is an item that does that. I don't think I've ever seen one, but oh, I would love an item that did that. That'd be awesome for this build. Come on, there we go. Jump through you because I can. One of the awesome abilities of Shadow Strike. Run around and poison everything. Hopefully it dies. Sometimes there's a... There is a passage. How to get in it, I forget. I don't know if the... The, the location of the entrance moves. But I can't always find it. Maybe it was taken out of the game. It might have been one of those just rare things that... I've seen, but I know there's a hidden passage around here someplace. At least the last time I remember finding it, it came out, uh, and I think it's a, it's a one way out door. I could have sworn it came out right behind this, uh, right behind that. That uh, bookcase right there is where it came out of. I'm just killing these mobs for the experience now. And to see if I can find that. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that could be a passage. Hmm. I remember coming out 
somewhere on this back wall over here one time. Maybe I, I misremember that. I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. Just go out and kill everything. That's what you want to do anyways. Ooh, ectoplasm. Always good. Not really a caster. I'm just using the hell out of ectoplasm. That's because the skills that I'm using are very uh, energy intensive. Might as well throw some curses around. It's useful. Slows enemies down. Makes them more susceptible to all my damage types. Probably should be using curse a little bit more in these areas. With a uh, high mob density. Makes them more susceptible. They die even faster. Not that stuff isn't dying fast as it is now, but... You can always die faster. Thank you. Just laying there allows me to jump forward very quickly. Yeah, this boss runs pretty quick. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten the key. I guess I could try to do the story way of getting the key. But then you have to make a choice if you want to, uh... I didn't really want to kill the guy, but I could. For me, it's the better way of doing it if you, uh, can find the key. But if you can't, if you don't get lucky and it drops. All right, concentrate here for a second because I will take some damage. Ooh, took a lot of damage. Like I said, glass cannon. My, uh... My tanky guy that was, uh... Ice and tank. Yeah. I wouldn't take hardly any damage in this area at this level. And... There you are. I knew there was a mob over here. Just couldn't see him. He was behind the wall. Did I miss anything that I want to pick up? Doesn't look like it. Use you to move around the room. Uh, nope. Doesn't look like anything in here interests me. All right. Let's see what the boss is going to drop. Maybe I'll get lucky and the boss will drop something nice for me. Let's see. Reduce the resistance. I think that's what I'll go. Tune that. Four and four. That's a good, good compromise. Now, I wanted to lock in my occultists. But I haven't started to do any. I mean, in the occultist area, I think it's just going to be uh, Curse of Foil Tree. Uh, vulnerability, definitely, because it reduces resistance. I want to reduce their poison resistance, make them take more poison. Blood of Drake, always. Awesome. Aspect of the Guardian, another awesome one. I'm going to push all the way to Possession because it gives me bonus poison damage. And then I'll take Bloody Pox. And the Wasting. The Black Death gives you poison damage per second. I don't know if I'm going to do this one yet or not. I might. It's more Vitality and Bleed. Bloody Pox just has a little bit of poison damage. I probably won't be touching it. So I think I'm just going to be going these skills right here. And that'll be it. And I might throw a point in the Doom Bolt just as an extra damage type. Just a, a quick damage hit if I needed it. Now here I'm going to drop everything on the guy. Curses and everything. Look how quickly he goes down. Now I want Natalia's hidden hand to be fully up. Curse, jump in, do it, and then I'm going to do my sh my shield to stand back to them. There we go. So the blade barrier, because it returns 100% of damage and it, I don't take damage, so I can stand in his crud and not get hurt by it. Eh, I got a blue. I was I'm happy. I got a blue. This wasn't a blue that I wanted. 
I'm not playing a shield character this time. But when I am, it's a nice shield to get. More experience. Plus two to Blitz. That'd be nice if I was doing that type of character. Definitely. Someone I want to save. Yeah, beyond that, really wasn't much. But you can come back and farm this guy too. So he is worth it. Oh, hi. Want to see, sometimes you break open that bookcase and get some extra... Uh, notes out of there. All right, let's go and rift back to town. Oh, actually, before I go back to town real quick, Burwich Village. I'm not here for you. That skill's not ready. Just one of the notes. Cultist orders. It's a quest item. See anything you like? Probably not, but I will take a look. see if he's got anything basically rings ring of its green necklace of its green I'll take a look at it I already completed her quest I went out and got the cloth off screen real quick um let me speak to is you it finished the warden's defeat is a great victory for us nay for all yeah, I've so heard it too many times. Be we... Yes. Then he wants me to open up the bridge, which I have all the parts for. Illusions. No, I'm not going to use illusions. Thank you very much. Don't want to drop this in accident. Thank you. And then drops I'll keep an eye on this all right what do you want <laughs> this is guy's an, a jerk now I can have him explain himself and then he becomes somebody that I can fight later in the game and and or I can just kill him off and get the key since I didn't get the key I think I'll just do it this way Then he'll be going, what was that noise out there? What's with all the commotion? I trusted that son of a slith. Thank you for slith. uncovering this. So you get, you get a nice bonus from them. You get a thousand iron, uh, 1,000 uh, doubles crossing reputation, which is actually nice. And then you get a, a, a blood, which is, it's not a bad, you know, it, the guy can drop stuff. Um, it's not amazing. Oh, I can like do bounties now. Uh, next bounty. Next bounty. I want to see if there's anything. Ah, yes, I'll grab that one because that's going to be going toward uh, the next area which is nice to get real quick oh actually I didn't get the key I I did that wrong if I kill the guy I don't get the key now the only way to get in there now I could have I could have made a deal with him and let him go and I wouldn't have got that reputation and I would have got the key now I have to go farm the key because I didn't remember that I was trying to actually get the key so I could do it hmm Oh well. 
that's the way I prefer to go in this anyway. I prefer, like I said, I like to get the key anyways. So now I got to repair the bridge so we can get uh, open up the next area. Use that as a teleport too. And of course it's still taking damage. All right, area two. The foothills. Now, being a, uh, a a glass cannon character, you gotta be careful in the these thing these guys. Even though they're not very powerful, they can do a lot of damage quickly. So it's something I have to take into account. All the stuff I know I can kill, but like I said, glass cannon. If they do stun me or I get frozen, I can uh, I can go down really quick. All right, let's report back real quick. Because that opens up the next part of the quest line. You should really get the key drop from that guy well, if you kill him. Did they you work fast. I like that. We'll need Darius Cronley. We have to hit them hard and fast. Leave no... They drop a lot of fire. So if you're doing a fire character, that is a nice place to go. This next area is really good for you because they drop a lot of fire stuff. How many points did I put? Hmm, I did put a lot of points into ease because I want this to go off as much as possible. And this modifies all that. Okay. I'll eventually take those points out because I'll have enough plus gear that'll hopefully add to that so that I can put those points elsewhere. And in my opinion, to better use. But for now, I'm going to keep pumping. Go for a flat damage or a percentage damage, I should say. Instead of lowering their resistance, we'll just go more damage on top. So now I've got several little quests in this area. And we shall get stutted. Oh, seriously, you're taking pop shots at me? You can't shoot me, you shoot me through the wall, dude. Now these big rock things, there are some really nasty ones. They will kill me with a single hit. So I definitely want to jump in. Oh, this guy, I hate that guy. I'll come back and deal with him in a sec. Not these guys, the bigger ones, um, they're usually hero mobs. There, there's always a hero mob over here of those guys. And oh man, they'll drop their little meteor on you. And that thing does a huge amount of damage unless you've got uh, either the health or the, uh, the resistance to uh, take the hit. And right now my character definitely does not have the health or uh, resistance. All right. Um, I forget which, which one gets him to stop doing it. Um, ah, darn it. Oh, well, if you, if you're playing a fire character and it's a melee, his torch is actually a really nice uh, item to pick up. But unfortunately, that screwed up. And the other, if you don't screw it up, you can send him back to Devil's Crossing and the family survives and then they give you a ring. But that's it. There's no other quest lines. It's just a different style. It's a, just a different loot. And you have another person to talk to, but I never saw a second quest line with them. And if you screwed up the first time and you'd like, oh, I didn't want to do that, the next time that you play through on the harder difficult and the next, you know, the next difficulty, you can go ahead and, and do it correctly, I guess, if you want. Or you can just say, I don't care and walk away or never talk to the guy. He just stands there and never does anything. I always get it right. I was like, I always seem to pick the wrong one. Even though when I'm trying to save the family, I seem to pick the wrong one. Um, 
Nope, nothing over here right now. Let's bring up the map. I like this game. You can actually, you can even fight with the map up. Can't do that yet. Don't even have to uh, turn the map off to actually fight, which is really nice. Yep, just gonna run through because you're not with my time. Oh, big group though. That skill's not ready. Mats I'll definitely pick up. This is one of those choice ones where your choice will affect uh, stuff in the future. This one can actually have, uh, I would say that this one, you definitely do not not want to make a mistake because you actually lose out on a merchant if you make the wrong choice in this little quest line. And this is the merchant. And there's a second part to this quest line too. And if you do make the wrong choice and kill this guy, later on you'll find out about it. And it makes you feel like a heal too, it's hilarious. Well, it's not funny, I'm just saying. When I first time I found, when I I made the wrong choice, didn't know it. And then when the game does show you that you made the wrong choice, I mean, you really feel like uh, a jerk. Just read the quest line for yourself. If you're playing through, read the whole thing. And uh, later on, you'll see why I'm saying you'll find out that uh, uh, who was actually telling the truth. There's my next portal. And then the camp should just be over here. This is a nice little quest hub. Go find the elder, which is pretty nice. Now, the the item, you can choose to keep it or not keep it, and it's a trinket, and you get some experience. I would turn it in. It's just the way that I like to play this game. I don't keep it. I like to keep it, turn it in. Ooh, 14 poison damage. I might switch to you. Let me look. Yeah, I think I'll switch to you because you've got poison damage on you. See, like I said, always check the ribbons and always check the... Uh, the jewelry. Because you never know when you get a nice one. Sometimes you hear mobs fighting, uh, fighting amongst themselves. That's always a nice thing too. <laughs> What's damage you have to do to them to kill them? They can drop stuff though if they're fighting each other and you know one mob kills another mob, they'll still drop loot. But... Oh I need to bring some dynamite with me next time I come out. Let's go up around here and find the elder real quick. Get that quest done. A lot of undead in this area. They're pretty squishy. They, uh, they die to the, the frost burn damage that I can do. But yeah, Night Blade playing poison is always fun. The second build that I'm actually messing around with is a Imp Trader, and it's a Night Blade, and then the uh, one of the other new costs too. So this is the item, the Talisman. If you tell them you want to keep it, it becomes a, uh, a relic item. I've never kept it. You know, I, but people have said that it's a nice relic if you don't already have one. Because I can already make the relics, I've got relics. I said, it's not my cup of tea to, uh, to keep it, so I usually turn it over to them. Actually, I don't think I ever have not turned it over to them. Oh, that's the mine entrance. We'll get to the mine here in just a minute. Wanted to clear the area first.
Let everybody spawn in behind me. Jump in. <laughs> well, they can hurt me, but I can do a lot more damage to them in my opinion. And these are trash mobs, so. Sometimes a, a, a hero mob can spawn over here, though, when you walk into this area. But not this time. And there are little hidden areas. Now, if you look, that's I'm going to show you an area that's actually on the map. It's just an inch, an inch off the map, but it is some place you can go. Come over here. Oh, no, no, no. I know there's a way. Did I already pass the entrance? Yeah, there we go. See that? That tree kind of covers it. But you can duck over here. And there's two chests over here. Nice. Sometimes there's only one. So you can see I'm off the map right now. So make sure to look out for those. I'm run back and turn this quest in. Oh, spawn behind me. That skill's not <laughs> I loved fighting the uh, the wasps and or the uh, the spiders because when I'm playing a night blade and I got frost damage up, they just splat, splat. You know, they spawn in and basically splat. And sure, here it is. Like I said, I'm not going to... I want the rover uh, reputation. Rovers are really good to get reputation with. Oh, poison damage. But not enough to give up what I've got. And that there... Okay, but my time is up. I've been critical. This has been Grim Dawn. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content. If you have, drop a like and consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.